Our topic is called goal setting. Bakit mahalaga ang goal setting sa negosyo natin? And normally, kapag nag-start ka sa business, meron tayong dreams, meron tayong pangarap. That's why gumagawa tayo ng mga dream board. Pero kapag gumagawa tayo ng dream board or dreams, dapat meron tayong time frame. Kasi hindi lalabas ang full potential mo at actions na kailangan para makuha mo yung dreams mo pag walang time frame. Bakit mahalaga? Number one, nagbibigay ito ng direction sa negosyo mo. Kapag walang direction yung negosyo mo, walang patutunguhan, it's like a driving your car, pero hindi mo alam kung saan ka pupunta. Pangalawa, kapag may goal ka, nagsaset to ng action na kailangan mong gawin at effort na ilalabas mo para makuha mo yung goal mo. Pangatlo, kapag may goal ka, it's like a simply kapag ka pumapasok ka sa school. Normally, kapag binigyan kayo ng project sa school ng teacher mo, lagi sinasabi, meron deadline of passing. Tama? Bakit? Kasi, kapag ang teacher mo nagbigay sa'yo ng project at sinabi niya, ipasa mo yung project someday, tanong, gagawa ka? Hindi. Of course, hindi ka gagawa. Kasi, walang target date. In the first place, sa kalendaryo natin, walang someday. Monday to Sunday lang. Tama? Same thing sa negosyo. Kung gusto maging global ambassador, kung gusto mong kumita ng malaki, if you want to become a Millionaire's Club Circle member, if you want to earn 100,000, even half million, even 1 million per month, dapat meron kang time frame at dapat meron kang goal. Now, paano mo mag-set ng personal goal? Paano mo mag-set ng goal? Kapag nag-set ka ng goal, dapat yung goal mo, it should be smart. Smart means specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bounded. Kailangan specific. Kaya kailangan, number one, kapag nag-set ka ng personal goal mo, it should be financial goal. Magkano ang gusto mong kitain? How much you want to earn in one month, in one year, even for the next five years? Kapag nag-set ka ng financial goal, kailangan in terms of numbers. Okay? It should be in figures. Para pag tinang sa'yo ng upline mo, bakit ka nag-recruit ngayon? Bakit ka nagpe-present ngayon? Hindi dahil gusto kong yumaman? Well, probably, that's part of the reason. Hindi mo pwede sabihin na kaya ako nag-recruit kasi sabi ng upline ko, kasi networking, kailangan mag-recruit. No, dapat yung activity na ginagawa mo, dapat connected to sa financial goal mo, probably every month, every year. Example, you want to earn 15,000 pesos in one month. So, how many recruits you need? How many accounts you need? If 15,000 per month, you need to recruit 10 on the left, 10 on the right. So, it would be paired, it would be 15,000. Now, it means when you're doing certain action and you're doing certain activity, it is connected with your financial goal. Pangalawa, kapag nag-set ka ng goal, you have to be disciplined. You have to be responsible. You know what? Kapag nag-set ka ng goal sa sarili mo, ang daming temptations. Particularly, if you're doing online marketing, ang daming temptation para hindi ka maging productive. Akala mo, nag-online ka pa, pero hindi mo alam. You're watching certain videos na hindi naman connected sa negosyo mo. Mas marami pang time ang ginagawa mo pag Facebook nang hindi connected sa goal mo. Kaya maraming temptation. So, kailangan maging disciplined, maging responsible. Minsan, kahit, you know, late at night, you have to wake up, you know, uh, kahit na madaling araw na, kailangan mo pang gumising kasi meron kang ka-Skype or ka-chat from Nigeria or even from ibang bansa na baliktad yung time zone mo. So, number two, you have to be responsible. Third step sa pag set ng financial goal. Kapag nahit mo ang goal mo in one month or even three months, it's up to you. Don't forget to reward yourself. Kailangan uh, i-reward mo yung sarili mo for the effort na binigay mo. Kailangan i-appreciate mo sarili mo yung effort na binigay mo. Do not deprive yourself from rewards. Kasi kapag na-reward mo sarili mo, nakikita mo yung value ng effort na ginawa mo. At the end of the day, kapag na-reward mo yung sarili mo, yung feeling of satisfaction, feeling of being fulfilled, mas magiging you know, productive ka next month. Kaya wag na wag mo kakalimutan, i-reward yung sarili mo. There are three things na kailangan mo consider sa goal setting. Okay? So number one, may tinatawag tayo na long-term goal. Number two, may tinatawag na tayo na short-term goal. And number three, mayroon na tinatawag na activities. Pag sinabing long-term goal, these are normally goals na medyo malayo pa. Well, it could be one year, it could be uh, ten years, it could be five years, It depends upon you kung paano mo siya treat as a long-term goal. Pangalawa, short-term goal. Yung short-term goal mo, 
kailangan connected ito sa long-term goal mo. Example, kung ang long-term goal mo in one year, kumita ka or magkaroon ka ng savings na 120,000 pesos, ang short-term goal mo is magkaroon ng savings na 10,000 pesos per month. Times 12, kaya 120,000 savings in one year. Ang long-term goal mo is 120,000 pesos savings in one year and short-term goal mo is to earn 10,000 pesos savings per month. Now, third is, tinatawag natin na daily activities. Hindi, mag, hindi ka magkakameron ng short-term goal. Hindi mo ma-achieve yung short-term goal mo kapag wala kang ginagawang daily activities. What is your daily activities? Ito yung OPP, ito yung NDO, ito yung ASAP, ito yung pagtitinin sa mga downloads mo, ito yung pag a ng mga friends mo sa Facebook, ito yung ilan ba yung napapa-ABC room or napapa-advise mo sa upline mo. So, ang short-term goal mo, connected to sa daily activities. Here's the application of goal setting. Ito yung typical na example kung paano ginagawa yung goal setting. Let's make with numbers. Okay? So, ito example na to is a perspective kapag nakasingle account ka. Okay? So, example, kapag nakasingle account ka, ang goal mo is kumita ng 500,000 gross income in one year. Pag sinabing gross, hindi siya net. Kapag sinabing gross, kasama yung GC, kasama yung tax, okay? 500,000 gross in one year. So, the question is, if 500,000 income, gross income in one year is your long-term goal, ano ang magiging short-term goal mo or monthly goal mo? Definitely, kailangan mong kumita gross ng 41,666 pesos in one month. That's 500,000 Divide by 12, okay? So, lalabas yung 41,666. Kung ang goal mo is kumita gross income of 41,666 in one month, divided by 1,500 or 1,500 dun sa match sales bonus natin. Therefore, ang goal mo is magkameron ng 28 pairs. Ibig sabihin, 28 sa left, 28 sa right. Ibig sabihin, 28 pairs para ma-downgrade natin in 2 weeks. So, 28 pairs divided by 4, ang lalabas dyan, you have to have 7 pairs per week. Ibig sabihin, 7 sa left, 7 sa right. So, more or less, ibig sabihin, 7 times 2, you have to have a 14 pay-ins per week. If 14 pay-ins divided by 7, para makuha natin yung daily. So, you have to have a 2 pay-ins daily. So, more or less, kung dalawang pay ng goal mo everyday, ilang OPP ang kailangan mong i-conduct? Lagay natin sa ratio na 10 is to 2. Out of 10 na OPP mo, walo hindi sumasali, dalawa sumasali. Therefore, you have to have 10 OPPs everyday. Yung set naman na ito, ito yung goal setting kapag naka-7 heads ka. Ang laking advantage actually pag naka-7 heads ka. Well, for me, lagi nating sinasabi, kung gagawin mo lang din ang business, Don't let yourself na single account lang. Igugol mo na maka 7 heads ka. Kung isang bagsak na 7 heads, mas maganda. Bakit? Even sa goal setting, even sa production ng 7 heads, sobrang laki ng pinagaiba. Assuming, same thing, let's say ang goal kapag naka 7 heads ka, kumita rin ng 500,000 gross income in one year. More or less, kung 500,000 income, gross income in one year, how many pains ang kailangan? Well, as we computed, ang goal mo is at least makakuha ng uh, walo na magti-3 heads lang. Or, kung i-disintegrate natin, 8 times 3, that's 24 pay-ins per month. You need to have at least 24 pay-ins per month. Take note, hindi na pair, pay-ins. So, 24 pay-ins divided by 4, that is 6 pay-ins per week. And 6 pay-ins per week divided by 7, That's approximately 1 pay-in per day. So, ang ratio kung 20% is 10 is to 2 or 5 is to 1, you need to have at least 5 OPPs every day para magkameron ng isang pay-in every day. And guess what? Ang result niyan, more than pa sa goal mo na 500,000. As we computed, that is exactly 648,000 pesos to gross income In one year. Kung matagal ka na namang member at ngayon mo lang na-realize itong goal setting at meron ka ng downline, it means meron ka ng waiting points. Now, iba naman ang goal setting kapag meron ka ng waiting points. 
Ngayon, ang pinakamaganda, mag-consult ka sa upline mo kung paano maging structure ng goal setting mo or structure ng activities mo kapag meron ka ng strong leg. So guys, I hope yung goal ninyo, makuha ninyo, and I hope and I pray that this year is will be the year na makukuha mo na ang mga pangarap mo dito sa AIM Global. God bless, more power, and AIM World!